Hey guys, welcome back to another music review. And today, I've got some metal for you. So if you're a metal fan, definitely gonna want to check these bands out. Um, and the whole room comes alive. Okay, um, Power Trip is is the first band. Today I'm gonna talk about, and they are at Bandcamp.com. The weird thing about this link, and uh, the link will be down below uh, for you to check out uh, the thing. It's Power Trips One dot bandcamp dot com so is there another power trip that's what i'm thinking that sucks that always sucks like i remember looking up like uh i used to go by the moniker human statue and i used to look up stuff and then when i finally found out that there was a human statues it was totally depressing uh because i've been going up by that moniker for a long time and i know people probably some people probably wonder what the hell happened to the human statue but anyway um so Power Trips one, the band is named Power Trip, and especially when you're you're, you're saying to your friends, you go, hey, you should check out my music. Here's the website, and you say powertrips1.bandcamp.com. They're like, but your band name is Power Trip. I know it's annoying. Um, but anyway, this is basically a thrash metal review. So if you're into thrash metal, this is the video for you to check out. Um, Power Trip is an awesome thrash metal band. Um, check them out. On Man Cave, I'll listen to, I believe, the CD uh, Nightmare Logic. They're really, really good. Um, I thought they were pretty decent. Um, pretty much level with the other band, and people make me slack for that. Um, <clears throat> that i talk about in a second. Um, but I liked it. I definitely want to hear more from the band. I, I don't think they have a couple EPs on here as well. Um, but I kind of want to hear more stuff from them to kind of get my really true opinion of the band. Um, I hope everything goes well for this group. Uh, they're from Texas. Texas always produces some great metal bands. So um, I think if you went back and actually researched like a lot of the hard rock bands and metal bands that's come out recently, you'd be surprised who's all from Texas because there's a lot of bands that come from Texas. Um, <clears throat> so definitely worth checking out Power Cup. I didn't write down the name of them. Please. I don't think they had the names of the members on the page, if I remember right. That or I was just being lazy and didn't want to write them down. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they are from Texas. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Link will be down below. Uh, I'll talk about that later on. Anyway. Um, the second band is called Testament. So if you've never heard of Testament, wow, you're missing some stuff. That's all I'm saying. Um, for one, they have like tons of like tons of albums out. Um, pick one. Like if you're in a record store, just find an album and pick it up because um, usually it's pretty good. So yeah, you're missing nothing. Uh, I mean, you are missing some because there's like tons of CDs out there. Um, they're basically a thrash metal band um, that formed a little after Metallica, I believe. Um, so if you want to think about how long Metallica has been around, um, I, they were either like a little bit before or a little bit after. But Metallica basically you know, burst onto the scene and they kind of kind of got that popularity. And then I don't know if Testament probably. I mean, I think it could have been could have went either way, like. Metallica could have been the big famous band and Testament could have been the big famous band because it seems to me the way they talk about Testament is that they're basically like almost identical to each other like they could have both been famous but I think because of the record industry they picked Metallica because they were probably they look, look probably more mainstream or they looked too they looked I don't know like they look exactly the same really like if you go back in pictures of what they looked back a long time ago they look almost identical um but in the mid '80s, that's when they were both. They both started. Uh, they had tons of lineup changes over the years. Testament did tons, tons. Um, but you know, they um, let me go to the next page. So I can read my notes off. Uh, but you know, they, they tried to stay true to the thrash metal scene. I think minus like one album, they tried to go off and try something else. Like I think they tried to be was it power metal or progressive. I think they tried to go off and do one one album. I mean, but I mean, I mean, I listened to that album, the bad album they said, and it was still good. So I mean, they could do whatever they want. They're pretty good. Um, but I mean, I love the songs from this band. Like, I don't think I. I mean, of course you're gonna have bad songs in your metal band every once in a while. If you're kind of like thrash metal, there you ain't gonna have. I guess I don't want to say you won't ever have or ain't ain't never gonna have, but bad English all around. Um, but I think that. In thrash metal, there's more of a chance that you're not going to have, like, 
classic album every single time. There's going to be those two songs that people just aren't a fan of, and you just had to throw on probably for the record company because uh, they wanted a certain amount of songs. Um, but you know, they just seem the songs seem to be very good and have good timing on their songs, and you know, just overall kept me you know moving my head because I mean, if, you know, for you know minutes after hours, you know, they were just had me going. Uh, I did used to have a testament. I, I talked about um, Faith No More, and I had a cassette of uh, Testament as well back in the day. There, another cassette I had when I had my uh, little day Plum of Horizon. Um, I used to play a Testament cassette as well, and I actually played that quite a bit. I, I and it's, I think it's the more popular one uh, cassette that I had because I think one of their CDs is really really. I should have wrote that down. I suck. I know it has like almost. It's not a pentagram, but it's like the shape around the pentagram. Like, it, ha it looks like that on the cover. It looks like a space thing going on or something on the cover. You see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, I used to play it a lot. And I enjoyed it a lot. And I do, and, and here's the thing. People are going to hear this band, and they're going to say they sound almost exactly like Metallica. It's true. They do sound exactly like Metallica. But I think that they really did come out, come out around about the same time. Um, or shortly after, and they weren't trying to rip off Metallica. They weren't trying to do this. And a lot of people claim that they rip off Metallica, um, but you know they were just around at, around at around the same time, or started a little after them. And you know, they're just in the thrash metal. And I mean, a lot of a lot of bands in the thrash metal scene and stuff like that, they may kind of sound like Metallica because I know there's a couple other bands I've heard that um, I want to say I'm gonna name drop something here. I think Metal Church is another band that sounds just like Metallica. <laughs> and, uh, now, I think they did kind of like Testament and Metallica, too. So they probably, they probably did rip off or try to sound like them somewhat. Um, but, um, yeah, definitely definitely good jams from both these bands. So Power Trip and uh, Testament, definitely check it out. Um, PowerTrips1.bandcamp.com dot com is the website to check out power trip that link will be down below and as always everything for everything brad tragic at brad tragic dot weebly dot com and as always like comment subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video um i guess i don't necessarily go by the likes but if i see a type of video is getting a response i will probably try to lean toward that area um i mean if, if everybody's thumbs up the crap out of my little thing i'm probably not going to get do like all metal things, but I'll make sure I kind of get a, another one up soon as possible. So as far as that goes, uh, everybody keep on rocking, keep on listening to music and definitely metal. <laughs>